last loop that ends like. Sounds cool. How will it look like? Okay, before I show you, I'm going to tell you three key things about this globe. Firstly, it's the glass globe. Number two, the noble gases inside the glass globe. Remember what we learned in science lab? Xenon, neon, and argon. These are all stable gases. Number three, well, you see the central core? It conducts electricity. Usheta, let's sit down so that we can get closer to the globe. Now, I will turn on the glass globe and it will supply current to the gases inside the globe. Let's turn off the lights. Wow, that's amazing. There are so many beautiful streaks of light. What causes this? Let me explain. There are two key events that happen here. Firstly, when we turn on the switch, the electricity flows from the electrodes to the gases. Secondly, the noble gases emit light when the current flows through them. Different gases emit different light. For example, neon emits red light and argon emits blue light. I see, but what causes it to emit light? When the gases inside the ball are forced to lose their electrons, this will cause them to glow. And this state is called plasma. That is why we name this the plasma ball. When that is lightning, it emits light, right? Yeah. This is called plasma. Usheta, let's do this. Place your finger on the plasma ball. When you touch it, it creates a direct path for the electrons to go to the ground. 